According to the World Health Organization, roughly 800,000 people commit suicide every year, along with many more suicide attempts. Suicide is the highest leading cause of death for people 15 to 29 years old, second highest among ages 15 to 34, and third highest among ages 10 to 14. There are many factors that increase the likelihood of suicide. Here are the three most common factors. Number one, major depression. Major depression affects people both physically and psychologically. It can cause painful body aches and impairs the victim's ability to see cognitive solutions. This distortion of cognition causes people who commit suicide to believe the world would be a better place without them. Number two, loss of control. Impulsive tendencies leads to a lack of control resulting in maladaptive behaviors such as substance abuse. Impulsivity breeds fear and anxiety, which causes people to believe suicide is the only action they can take to put an end to maladaptive thoughts or behaviors. Number three, overwhelming regrets. Most cultures believe that making a mistake is a sign of failure. Also, some people internalize their mistakes to the point of believing they're beyond forgiveness. This may cause them to believe the only reprimand that would bring justice to the act they committed is suicide. Many argue that suicide is a senseless act, but one's cognition has the ability to make sense of the most senseless things, especially if they have major depression or impulsivity. Prior to the act of suicide, there is a process of negative thoughts that manifest in physical and mental pain. The act of suicide is seen as cathartic for people who suffer from guilt. Understanding that suicide makes sense to the suicidal person is an important step to getting them the help they need. One major sign of suicide is withdrawal. Withdrawal can be linked to one feeling shame for thinking about suicide or believing their feelings aren't being heard or acknowledged. Reacting to the signs of suicide without stigma or shame could be the key to establishing a dialogue with the suicidal person and getting them the proper treatment.